You know, there are many beautiful cities in Poland like Warszawa, Poznan or Gdansk. And then there is Krakow, which is absolutely outstanding. Luckily, I had the pleasure to stay in Krakow for one night so that there was just enough time to enjoy the lovely historic old town and the stunning views from Wawel Castle. But as I need to be back in Germany this evening, I took a train to Katowice, which is a rather unpopular city close to Krakow, in order to take a flight back home. So, let's fly to Germany. Hey yo, Enchin Dobre from Katowice Airport. Today I'll be flying to Dortmund with the Hungarian low-cost carrier RIS Air on board their Airbus A320. Believe it or not, but my very first flight was also on board a RIS Air A320 on exactly this route. Just the other way around, so from Dortmund to Katowice, like more or less 10 years ago. But anyway, thank you guys for coming along to today's trip report. Do make sure to have your seatbelt securely fastened, get yourself a glass of champagne and let's get nostalgic. Cheers! All right, Katowice Airport is located in the north of Katowice, next to the small village of Pyrsovice. You can easily get to Katowice Central Station with bus line AP1, which is leaving every 30 minutes from the bus stop down there for just 6 slotties, which should be roughly 1 euro and 30 cents. For those of you who want to feel extra educated by today's video, Katowice Airport has the tallest air traffic control tower and the second longest runway in Poland. I particularly like the small but also cozy seating area right next to the terminal building. But anyway, RIS Air flights are usually leaving from Terminal B, which we are about to enter now. And the check-in for my flight to Dortmund is located at counter 33 today. I am honestly kind of glad that I am not flying lot Polish Airlines today. I mean, just look at this queue. By the way, the terminal also features this mini market with, well, all right prices to say so. Generally, generally speaking, I quite like Katowice Airport. I have been here dozens of times um, and it's always like quite comfortable to fly from here. The security control is always empty, stuff is really nice. But I'm really wondering how it can be that so many flights are leaving from here because Katowice is pretty much in the middle of nowhere in, in Poland. Or not Katowice, but this airport. Okay, there is Krakow, for example, which is not too far away. But Katowice doesn't have too many inhabitants as far as I know. So I'm really wondering how it can be that every flight from here is also always like almost full. But anyway, as Wizz Air does not offer a complimentary airport check-in service, I already checked in online yesterday um, with the mobile app. So let's head right through the security control, which should be there, I guess. Once you made it through the security control, you will find yourself right in front of gate 12, from where I took a Lufthansa flight to Frankfurt just a few months ago, if I remember correctly. Today, however, I'll be on board with Air Flight W61093 to Dortmund, leaving at 3.50pm from gates 24 and 25. I really like that Katowice Airport offers not only lots of seating possibilities next to the gates, but also a nicely designed duty-free shop. And as you guys may know, I don't say that very often. Alright, finally made it through the security control, um, which was honestly a bit unorganized to say so, however it only took like well, 15 to 20 minutes, so it's all right. My flight should be leaving from gate 18 and 19, which is actually on the lower level of this airport, which is reachable by a staircase there in the back, which wasn't working. But well. Finally made it to today's Airbus A320. Let's head inside. All right, after being completely ignored by the cabin crew during boarding, um, I finally settled in at my seat 2F. 
which is in the second row, obviously, um, more or less right behind the forward galley and also the lavatory. Um, the legroom is not that good, but let's take a closer look around. Well, firstly, the legroom is certainly limited, but not as bad as I expected it to be, as I can still fit my hand vertically between my knees and the seat in front of me. Talking about the seat in front, it offers a magazine compartment with a sick bag, safety card and Wizz Air's in-flight magazine, as well as a decent sized foldable table. Luckily, I can also look outside two different well-cleaned windows from my seat 2F. But now it's time for the pushback. Four exits are over the wings, four exits are in the rear, two exits are in the rear, two exits are in the rear cabin. Alrighty, we are now finally um, taxiing to the departure runway and we are even ahead of schedule. The pushback was initiated like six or seven minutes ahead of schedule, which isn't too bad. So let's just hope that we will have a nice departure here from Katowice and of course also double check that my seatbelt is securely fast for takeoff, which is really important. Um, but anyway, Kevin was also secured by the crew after the demonstration, so let's fly to Dortmund. We start your board sales in the Stepanka in front of you. You can find our whistleboard magazine with a selection of our snacks and drinks. We would like to recommend special meal deals with a very special price and also new product on board coffee, latte from Starbucks and also cappuccino. We accept cash payments, here as long as you can also your visa and MasterCard. Please free, free to order. Thank you. Alright, we are finally airborne and I just got a bit sad because I just realized that this is the very last flight of my Europe tour, which took me through six different countries within nine days, I believe. Um, but anyway, let's talk about today's in-flight service. The crew started with the onboard sails like 15 to 20 minutes into the flight, which is um, pretty fast, not too bad. But a part of that, well, they're doing like the bare minimum today. As I said before, uh, my boarding experience was also not the best. And well, I could say now that I got what I paid for, as I only paid 20 euros for this flight. But well, also on a cheap flight, I do expect like a nice crew, etc., that is smiling to the passengers, which is unfortunately not the case on today's flight. But well, everybody has um, bad days sometimes. Am I correct? As I already promised you beforehand, I would now like to take a closer look at the content of the seat pocket in front of me. So firstly, here is the sick bag and the safety card of today's Airbus A320 CEO.
Next comes Wiz Air's in-flight magazine with the insanely creative name Wiz, which is basically just propaganda about how cool this company with all its destinations are. It is just kind of funny that Joseph Faradi, the CEO of Wiz Air, wishes everyone a safe journey on the very first page, having in mind that he basically encouraged Wiz crews to fly fatigue on an internal memo just a few months ago. But maybe I, as a former flight attendant, am just a little sensitive when it comes to those topics. But anyway, the magazine also features Wizz Air's onboard menu with all its sandwiches, snacks and drinks. Sadly, however, no hot food is offered except for instant soups, as Wizz Air's planes are simply not equipped with ovens. I don't really mind that on such a short flight, but when flying to or from, for example, Dubai or Abu Dhabi, I would certainly like to be able to order a hot meal. On the last pages you can also find articles from the so-called Wiz Boutique and I must say that I appreciate that they offer an Airbus A321 scale model for a decent price. Well, I decided against buying something from the onboard shop today, but I got this beautiful looking donut from a local bakery um, in Katowice, which I will now enjoy. Bon appétit! That's so good. And it was also super cheap, like I paid four slotty or five slotty, I guess, for this one. Best donut I ever had. It's a small bakery, um, like 100 meters away from um, Krakow Glovny, which is the uh, from, sorry, Katowice Glovny, which is uh, Katowice Central train station. Make sure to go there. But I must say that I would have enjoyed the donut even more if I would have been able to eat it in a properly cleaned environment, which is unfortunately absolutely not the case today. I mean, just take a look inside the filthy magazine compartment in front of me. This is just disgusting. At least the leather cover of my non-reclinable seat 2F seems to be in a good condition and the passenger service unit above me, featuring both fresh air nozzles and reading lights, also looks okay. By the way, are you a member of the Wiz Discount Club? I actually am, as I used to fly between Dortmund and Vienna on a weekly base. Sadly, however, they discontinued this service and left Ryanair as the only operating airline on this route. So I'm always taking the train now. We are now approaching Dortmund Airport and I really don't want to touch down there. You know, it's a nice airport, nothing against Dortmund as well, uh, nothing against the city. I simply don't want to be back in Germany because the past um, days were just like so amazing. It was such a cool trip. Um, also, thanks again for you guys, uh, to you guys uh, for, for coming along um, to the videos. Yeah, did you hear that? That was the cabin crew. They have like a lot of fun when talking to each other, but not when talking to the passengers. Second try. Um, in conclusion, I guess I just wanted to say that, uh, well, I'm sad, but next trips are already in the planning, in the making. Um, I do hope that I will um, fly to Southeast Asia, maybe to Thailand or Singapore or Malaysia in um, the month of October. Well, at least I'm still planning maybe with um, Saudi from uh, Frankfurt with their Boeing 787, but well, this, these trips are still in the making, so stay tuned. Um, for further information and do make sure to subscribe to my channel of course if you do not want to miss any of these future videos that are definitely coming. Szanowni Państwo, lądujemy za parę minutek. Uprzejmie proszę o powrót na swoje miejsca, zabijcie pasu bezpieczeństwa, złożenie stolików, odsłonięcie zasłonek na okiennych, a także o prześledzenie karty instrukcji, która znajduje się w kieszeni hotela przed Państwa na wypadek niespodziewanej ewakuacji. Dziękuję za współpracę. Welcome to Dortmund Airport at the local Danza quarter past 5 p.m. Please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened until the captain has turned off the fastened event time 
and the aircraft has come to a complete stop in its final parking position. Please open the overhead compartment carefully as the items might be falling out and causing injury. Captain and the entire crew, thank you for flying. Wizard, we hope you have enjoyed the flight of us and we look forward to the pleasure of seeing you again in a very near future. We wish you a pleasant stay in Germany, thank you and goodbye. Thank you. Ladies and gents, welcome to Dortmund Airport. Um, quick sum up about the flight. Firstly, the crew was like always talking, um, also during the landing, which is when it comes to flight safety, really difficult in my eyes. Um, as some of you know, or as probably everybody of you knows, um, I was a flight attendant as well some years ago, and um, it's really important to have a um, situational awareness during landing. Uh, also during the approach or uh, during the short final approach um, into an airport because in case of an emergency you need to know where are you etc etc uh, what to do next and they were like making jokes and just um, laughing all the time which is absolutely not professional in my eyes um, furthermore during this embarkation they were also like chatting um, with each other Oops, sorry chatting um, with each other and not um, saying goodbye or anything to the passengers it was just I'm really sorry um, because normally I, I always had um, great experience uh, experiences when flying with air um, as they normally have great crews but today I'm sorry but it was just a complete disaster but anyway apart from that I would like to thank you guys for coming along to today's trip report um, stay safe Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you do not want to miss any further videos and shares.